Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I got a fun foal. This was, uh, this one here was created by Pauline Johnson, one of my teammates. And she designed this fun foal. She said she was just playing around. Well, I absolutely went, wow. Very different. And the beauty of this it's fit in a regular envelope, so uh, no extra need of a special envelope. It's just fit very perfect in our regular envelope. Boom! And it's exactly half a sheet for the card base. So let me share with you. So she had used the Forever Fern there, and you see when it's just flipped. Boom! So I'm going to share this, also I'm going to share how to do the insert inside. So here's two that i done. So you see inside I put extra piece there. And over here I think I will put a flower right there. But I like that when I open it up I get the same um, points there. I'm going to call that the diamond flip fold. Because really it's kind of a diamond and it flipped, right? Voila. So the designer series paper that I am using, I'm using the fine art floral pa paper. So you can see the print. I did this one right here. And today we're going to do this one over here. So we're going to start with a piece of cardstock that measure, I get a little bit of stuff all over here, that measure 11 by 4 and a quarter. And that's exactly half a piece of cardstock cutting on the long way. Now bring your paper trimmer here. And we're going to score this at 2 and 1 quarter. Uh, two and one eight, not in a quarter because that won't work. Two and one eight. So the two and one eight is exactly between the two and the quarter. Two and one eight. We're gonna score this, and then we're gonna score at five and a half. That is it for the score. Now. We're going to use a pencil, and the reason why I say a pencil, a pencil, it's more friendly to erase. And I, oh, I got my pencil. Now, we're going to mark this at 2 and 1 8 again. So, the, really, the number you have to remember, it's 2 and 1 8. So, I put my paper there at 2 and 1 8, and in the crease there, in the groove where it cut, I'm going to make a little mark. Now, this is the side that we score at 2 and 1 8. So we just have to do one there because we got it on each side. Now, the other end, we have to do it in the center and each side. So go at 2 and 1 8, make a mark there, go at 2 and 1 8, and make a mark at each end. 2 and 1 8. Now that we got our mark, what you're going to do is take the center here, your mark, with your mark on the side, you put that in the track where it cut, and we're going to cut that diagonal. So cut this diagonal, flip this around, and put the point again, the mark, and your mark over here, and cut that diagonal. Now we're going to do that on the other side, and the other side we don't have the mark, but we got the score line. So you're going to make your score line in the track, and the mark in the track. And cut this diagonal. Now flip it, and do the same thing. So now we're going to have our diamond point there. Oops, make sure it's in the groove there and cut. Voila! How simple this was. So that is our card base. Now if you want an insert, an insert is going to be a quarter inch smaller, so you're going to take a piece of cardstock that measure four by five and a quarter. Four, five and a quarter. Also all measurement will be on my blog right below. You're going to have the direct link and get all the measurement and the supplies that I use. Now again, with a pencil, 
it seems my pencil is walking. Here we go. This time, if you want to have an insert inside, it's going to be the magic number, it's two. Because the, the half of the four inch, it's two. So we're going to mark this at two. Now flip it, and you mark it at two also on each side. Two and two. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did with the card base. We're going to put the point, the point in the track, and cut, flip it around, and again, the mark and the mark in the track, and cut. Et voila. Now we got our perfect insert to go inside our card. See, it's the perfect match. Now, the <clears throat> reason why I say to use a pencil, uh, it's because you can remove those smart there. Here we go. So now it don't look funky. Now, we're going to reinforce our score lines. So, we're going to take, I'm going to take a bone folder here, reinforce this. Now, one side, it won't get full. If you see you're off a little bit like this, do you see I'm like one little tiny air off and that's possible right just the way that you put your paper just cut it equally i had a little bits and piece there and i'm going to turn it around and shave it off so now it's equally now the play the place that you don't have no score it stay flat this way where you get a score we fold in now we're going to fold out and reinforce and reinforce now for um, right here the piece that go here you're going to take a piece that measure three by four this is knight of navy of three by four oh, am i out here no i'm not out okay three by four here we go and we're going to put that right here like this and then our designer series paper measure two and three quarter by three and three quarter. We're going to place that right here. Now, for the base here, I'm using the same color than the card base. So in this case, it's so saffron, and I get a piece that measure three by three. This one I use, I like to use Tombow glue. So then it gives me the chance to move it around if I'm not just right. So I'm gonna put that, you just put that at the edge here. You don't wanna pass that. Now <clears throat> I'm gonna take my point and match this with my point. There and there. See? how it match all perfectly. It's that simple. I am so impressed with Pauline design. Now for my layer on the top, I'm using Knight of Navy. So it's two and three quarter by two and three quarter. And I embossed that with the new painted um, 3D embossing folder. We're gonna attach this here, like so. And then my inside, because it's a color thing, I wanted to put a piece of my insert there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. I just like white to write on. You don't have to put this part. If like your card base it's white or you don't like to have white, you can leave it the way it is. Now I got another piece because I like to match with the front of the Knight of Navy, the same measurement, two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Oops. And then I just gonna put it right at the edge there. You're gonna say, well, you didn't have to put the point. No, this one I didn't have to. I could have cut a square. And if you're wondering, what would have been the square? The square would have been um, three and a quarter by four. Three and a quarter by four. And here it is three by four. This one, it's three and a quarter. Well, three. 
three would have been the same. Yeah, do uh, three by four and three by four if you don't want to do the print. So you're going to have the same proportion around. See? And then I can put the piece there, like I said, three by four. Now, I already done the flower, but I'm going to share with you how I did this flower. It is done with markers. I'm using, uh, for this one, I'm using Bumblebee and Terracotta Tile and Mossy Metal. This, this one here, I use um, So Saffron and Mary Merlot. And I don't know how much you can see of the yellow. I think you can see pretty good. So, because I went with what was more in the print there. And really, I was basing myself more in the yellow and the uh, Merlot there. I try on watercolor paper, and I'm going to be honest, was not my favorite. I like the Tick Whisper White Cardstock for this uh, technique. So what i done, I use the brush. And I color all my flower. You don't have to be careful because the next color is darker. So you can color your flowers. Like so. Don't forget your little buds. And then I use Mossy Meadow for the stem. Just color a little bit of your stem. and your leaves and you're going to say well some place it don't really take on photopolymer the next step going to take care of that it looked like i forgot some yellow there going to be very careful not to put that on my green here we go and then i'm using terracotta again the brush and i'm going at the bottom just add a little bit at the bottom and over here you can add bits and pieces to around like the other one that I did with the Mary Merlot and um, the the so saffron I did all around now you're gonna take this and I need I'm gonna need my inky rag here I think or something yes because I'm going to spritz water and I don't want that surface wet. You're going to use the spritzer. And the reason why I absolutely love the stamping up spritzer, it's because it's a very um, fine mess. Now, I'm taking that about 12 inch from, you don't want to be too close, about 12 inch. And spritz twice, not more than twice, twice it's enough. Use your foam mat, because it's a photopolymer stamp set. And you're going to stamp this. And when you stamp this, I twist it a little bit just to, so the color going to blend together and not have the lines. And keep it there just a little bit. And now pull up. Et voila! Is that cool? So now my color are all blend together. Now i just going to uh, die cut that with uh, the die cut from Art Gallery. So that is the stamp that I use, and we got the matching uh, dies. So I will cut that on the machine and see when it's going to be there. Now for the little bow there, I'm using the Mossy Meadow. Uh, I thought it uh, the braided linen trim. I like to leave it on the roll, and I just do a little bow tiny little bow and I'm going to share how I um, spread the, the bow at the top. So now this is about the size of the bow that I want. I don't want much bigger. Now I took this and spread just my the bow part itself. Now the tail, this one it's a bit too big, just the bow part and I pull that apart. So now you see I got a wider bow with this. I think that was kind of fun. It's it's something different, right? Now we're going to cut this diagonal. And we're going to I'm going to attach this directly and the reason why I'm not using a dimensional, I could have used dimensional 
it seemed the post office get more and more picky with the thickness so I'm going to just put that there it still give me plenty of depth oh make sure that see I had a little piece there now um, let me reinforce this now I'm going to take this squeeze the the tail and then put a glue dot in the back and we're going to put that right here and that's okay to pass now for the other one I added some um, little uh, ladybug I absolutely love this little creature let me show you how this is done I just use um, the ladybug put a glue dot in the back and this one I'm just going to put one it went on my nail and I'm going to put that right here like she's climbing on the Et voila. And then inside, I will put a, another flower there and add my piece of white. So here it is, the diamond flip a card. How amazing this is. Thank you so much, uh, Pauline, for sharing with our team. Now I can share with all my viewer. So for all the supplies and also for all the dimension, just click at the link below to go to my blog post and I will add all the information there. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.